What's going on guys? Bobby with Consumer Time Capsule back with another review for you here and today we're at the capsule to talk to you about two brand new flavors of Oreos. It is carrot cake and dark chocolate. Now both of these sound really great but let's face it that carrot cake it's carrot cake flavored cookies with cream cheese icing flavored cream. That is crazy and sounds delicious. Now dark chocolate, that seems like something that should have been out for a long time, but my understanding is dark chocolate is a flavor that's here to stay. I guess that's a permanent, a permanent menu item for Oreo and possibly carrot cake is as well. So these are not like those wave, wave of flavors type things that disappear. These may be around for at least a long time. Gotta start out with the carrot cake. Now, Ooh. Oreo did kind of tease us with the My Oreo Creation Contest, uh, like the prospective flavors that they had. They did mention carrot cake as one that they were considering, but they didn't end up releasing it. And the way that they approached carrot cake before was side-by-side -side carrot flavored cream and cheesecake flavored cream, like like a like a duo flavor cookie. Mm. But this is totally different from from what we saw before, because you got the cream cheese inside, and you got the these are double stuff Oreos. No way! Look at how big this is. Okay, I gotta get. This. Look at this Oreo. Tell me that's not a double that stuff. That's gigantic. That is gigantic. I these are the. Get it to look at. There we go. Holy smokes. It is huge. Wow. Nice. So in the package, this is what they look like. It looks a lot like the Graham cookie. Yeah, which is a favorite. Which is the best cookie that they use. And then you've got the just tons and tons and tons of, of cream. It's just stuffed to the brink with cream. Look at that, Ryan. I cannot wait to try Cheers, this. man. Let's do this thing. This is going to be... I, I got it. Ooh, they smell real good. Wow. It smells like the best possible gingerbread. You know, like, gingerbread can be really bad, but it can be pretty good. That's what it smells like, the good one. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is good. That is really good. Mmm. I like it. Is so, the cookie a lot crispier than usual? It seems very, very crispy. Yeah. Um, almost like a generic Oreo level of crispiness. You know the generic Oreos are always a bit crispier? Um, I'd like to tame some of that crispiness personally, so I'm yeah. glad that we got the milk. But my first impressions are that the, um, the cheesecake filling is very sweet. It's borderline too sweet. Cream cheese. Uh, uh, cream cheese. The cream cheese filling is borderline too sweet, but on a carrot cake, a lot of times it's too sweet. <laughs> you know, so it it actually captures even the flaw of carrot cake. But the carrot cake flavor in the cookie is actually pretty pretty spot on, pretty accurate. Mm -hmm. Ryan, here's your dipper. Oh yeah. Um, it it has so much cream, and it's great. I I love. I love double stuff Oreos. Um, compared to regular Oreos, I would I would take them every time. So I think that that is a nice added benefit. Oh boy! Oh, what was that about? Technical difficulties. Okay. These are one. You gotta dunk it. Yeah. After you dunk it, this is one of the best Oreos I've ever had in my life. Wow. Um, now what's this up against? Well, we had the chocolate peanut butter uh, Oreos. Was that also, recently the Kroger Kaleidos, mm. that uh, lime. What was it? The one that tasted like the Royal Dansk cookies. Yeah. <laughs> Those were pretty amazing. Lime coconut, I think, is what it was. Mm. But, dude, is that one of the best cookies ever? That's so good. Need <laughs> yeah, it's so great. Well, we're gonna be in recap mode. We gotta. We gotta move. We gotta move to dark chocolate. This is all business. We're not done yet. Whoa! And it is dark. 
I feel like somebody just turned out the lights on the CTC review. <laughs> wow, and it smells like, uh, like, um, you ever had a Black Moon? Mm-mm. You know, like it's like a like super cakey. Like my grandmother used to make them all the time. Never heard of it. Shout out to Meme Du Bois. Oh, my mama nice. liked that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, and she's gonna like these cookies too because that's what it. But those are actually filled with like a vanilla cream, like a marshmallowy cream. This one, it's just more darkness. It's just a, sh- <laughs> it's just a sea of dark. And there, there's less, there's less cream than the other. It is a sharp looking cookie though. This should have been like nightmare Oreos or something this Halloween. You know what I mean? Like instead of doing the bright orange cream, do like black on black. That would be kind of cool. You know, put some skulls on this and stuff. But we'll see what's up. I love dark chocolate, so I'm excited. I did not know you liked dark chocolate. I love it. Mmm. Oh it tastes surprisingly a lot like a regular Oreo. I mean, the cookie on the outside is adding a lot more flavor than whatever cream is on the inside. It makes me want to just do some surgery here. I'm just going to take some of this cream. It's real tough to put the dark chocolate into cream form. And the inside, to me, tastes like the outside. (laughs) It tastes like Oreo cookie flavored cream, which is actually a cooler gimmick. That should have been what they did. But they didn't do that. So let's take some milk to these things, Ryan, and see what we think. But it's up against, I mean, it's up against some stiff competition. This might be a capsule countdown runaway, but I mean, these are good. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that they're not good, but I am saying that <laughs> we get a couple options here, and one so far is the clear front runner. Okay, afterbirth. This is pretty much the same. (laughs) Okay. This is pretty much the same. So, I mean, hey, if you're real into chocolate, if you're real into the Oreo cookie itself, like the the cookie without the sandwich cream, um, man, oh man, then it's it's spot on. It just is crazy that uh, they would call that dark chocolate. I don't really taste a lot of specifically dark chocolate. But, you know, it's all right. It's all right. They've done worse. They've done much what better, like too. Burnt chocolate. Burnt chocolate, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. So, for the gimmick grade, I got to give it up uh, to the carrot cake Oreo, but not so much to the dark chocolate. So, I'm going to have to grade them separately, even though I usually grade collectively when new things come out together. I'm going to give the dark chocolate Oreo gimmick a 4 out of 10, because... It's the kind of thing that you would just expect Oreo to basically have already done, much less expect them to do. So, yeah, not a great gimmick, but, you know, still interesting enough to to buy if you think you'll like the taste of it. Now, carrot cake Oreo, they put carrots in the freaking cookie. They put the perfect cream cheese inside. I mean, they, they concocted the right carrot cake cookie structurally. I, I think the design is 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 like is a little simplistic, but that's that's what you'd expect from Oreo. You can't really count off too awfully much for that. I give the gimmick a seven out of ten. Pretty good. But it's all about the taste. This capsule countdown is all about taste. I'm gonna give obviously second place has to go to dark chocolate Oreos. I uh, they just taste like the Oreo cookie to me. Uh, not a lot of specifically dark chocolate flavor, but still not too awfully bad. I will give it a five and a half out of 10 and second place on today's capsule countdown. 
First place, got to give it up to the winner, Carrot Cake Woo! Oreos. Woo! I I love these things in milk. It's it's a top it's a top pick in milk. I'm gonna give them a nine out of ten. What do you think about that, Ryan? Oh, absolutely. And uh, I'm gonna give them first place on today's capsule countdown in a in a landslide. And yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with the way that these turned out. I love the the volume of cream that they put in there. And uh, I don't know. I think if these if these stick around, I I think they're a winner. You know, I really do. I, if Look, if this would have been part of that My Oreo Creation Contest, this would have won somebody $100,000 or a million dollars or half a million dollars or whatever it is. So it's too bad. But really, really good. Uh, I'm very excited to take one last bite of these things on the way out. I hope that you guys enjoyed the review. We do have one more new flavor of Oreo that we're going to review tomorrow on our Valentine's Day special. It's Love Oreos with sweet cream filling and a Valentine's Day sweethearts messages on the outside. So tune in for that tomorrow. And in the meantime, of course, I will miss you until I see ya. That's good. Mm.